I'm interested in how things break, I suppose. I'm uh, interested in how materials develop their strength and other uh, mechanical properties. Uh, and I help uh, engineering designers to, uh, you know, to design and use materials properly so that uh, uh, stuff doesn't fall down. Fatigue failure is something that happens in many uh, different materials and uh, you can demonstrate it just with this paperclip. If you uh, uh, bend the paperclip out of shape, well, it doesn't immediately break uh, the first time you do it, but if you just repeat that action a number of times, bending it backwards and forwards, then uh, eventually, even though you're not really changing what you're doing, uh, there are things happening inside the metal uh, which are making it uh, gradually uh, weaker, small defects are forming and growing in the material, and eventually it breaks into two pieces. In a very extreme way, in the case of bamboo, even more so than wood and, and other materials, that it's very, very strong uh, if you load it in uh, along the length direction, if you, if you compress it or extend it in this direction, it's very strong, but it's very weak uh, in other directions. The way that we do the, uh, the testing to investigate fatigue failure in bamboo is to cut uh, short sections from the, uh, the stem, from the culm of the, uh, of the bamboo, and then we insert these into a, a testing machine which applies uh, a re a repeated load and uh, we can repeat that load hundreds, thousands or even millions of times uh, and wait and, uh, and see what happens. It does not really display any fatigue failure if we load it in this direction. So for example we, we uh, load it in compression repeatedly pressing on the ends of the, of the sample uh, many many thousands of times uh, and no fatigue happened. So if we press hard enough it will fail on the first the first time we press but if it doesn't fail the first time then it, it will essentially last forever and never fail. On the other hand if we turn it around and we load it in this direction in this case then we find that uh, it does display fatigue failure. We can uh, make recommendations to designers, people who might want to use bamboo for some structural purpose. We can tell them what kind of stresses and strains uh, can be experienced and in what directions uh, in order to make sure that fatigue failure doesn't happen. You can imagine has has many uh, uses. Uh, people are making bicycles out of them. Uh, you can think of uh, everyday uh, items which are often made of metals or plastics like sweeping brushes, for example. Things which you want to be uh, strong but fairly light. Uh, and uh, then uh, you can imagine all kinds of uses in, uh, in construction, building houses and carports and conservatories and uh, uh, building uh, using scaffolding. This is already done quite a lot in, in China and in Asia, not so much at the moment in Europe, but there are people even in Ireland who are uh, make using this material as a uh, as a building material. So another great advantage of bamboo uh, is that it grows very quickly uh, even more quickly than wood, and so it uh, can be imagined to be a sustainable uh, resource. Uh, we, can, uh, we can cut it down and use it, and, and it grows uh, fast enough uh, that it uh, can be essentially an, an environmentally friendly material.